Hey guys, it's our first time in Iceland and we're sleeping at a capsule hostel, which happened to be located above and next to car dealerships. Just about to check in and this is the waiting area. All right, and then on the walls, there are a bunch of words written on there. It must be by previous guests. While we're waiting, let's go to the VR room. Almond power. I just checked in, looking for room three. Doors, even up to six. Our room has four pods. Each pod contains two separate mattresses. The one I stayed in Tokyo with Faye, uh, those were singles. Here we have doubles. It is a Tuesday? We just arrived this morning and uh, totally spacing out. Spacing out? Like, because it's just like galaxy, like space stuff. <laughs> so we were told that no one else is gonna be in this room. One hook per pod for hanging clothes. Tonight, all four are ours. <laughs> Imagine eight people and eight open suitcases in here. We'd be a can of sardines. Here are the stairs to the upper pods. I just hooked my GoPro to start charging. To turn on the lights, we insert the pod key. Wow! Woohoo! Wait, in real life it's blue. How come in the camera it's purple? They're headphones? And it looks like there's a water bottle, but... Oh no! It says flame fighter. Oh, it's a fire extinguisher! The headphone jack, the USB, and then what's this? Oh, I think it's a fan. SOS button. Oh, you can lock the door when you sleep. Oh, the light! Oh, oh, the mirror light! Oh! And down here, we have a safe! Oh, the mattress is covering it, but we have remotes in there currently. Oh, there's a TV! Okay, we gotta keep those remotes safe. If I go into this pod right now, I'm gonna fall asleep. So let's go walk to the downtown. And uh, how do we lock this up? Let's try. Oh, automatic lock. So there's a dining area, salt, pepper. Oh, you could cook here. You can buy your goods and store them here, neatly on the tray. We then walk around the neighborhood in Reykjavik. Taking a look at some postcards. These are so cute too, super cute. This magazine is called Ha. There is a restaurant called Icelandic Street Food. We try their traditional lamb soup. Lamb soup in a cup. Lamb soup in a bread bowl. Definitely looks more exciting. Mm. Oh, the steam on a chilly day like this. We're walking down the street, we saw ads for bikinis, like swimsuits, and we're like so cold looking at it. <laughs> so savory. With the bread bowl, it all soaks up the soup. We got a basil leaf in here, some carrots. They have two locations, this uh, Icelandic street food. The other one is uh, further down the street and it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. It's currently 9.37 p.m. But look how bright it is outside. The thing is, inside our original pod, there's a little bit of light seeping in. So instead, changed it over to the pod next door, which is completely dark. So actually, if you use your locker key and put it there, it doesn't work. You have to put your room key. The lockers are located at the corner of the room, big enough to store your backpack, but might be too small for your average size luggage. And now this red light is coming from this guy. This does not come with the pod. By the way, when you stay at this hostel, they do not have towels, so you want to bring that. And thankfully, we went to the Blue Lagoon earlier today, so we already showered. Be sure to be quiet after 11 p.m. The next morning, around 8 a.m., two more guests checked into the pod next door. I became extra conscious of making noise, so I whispered and moved quietly as possible. Please, no sexy time if you come as a romantic couple. Let's check out the TV and feast our eyes on Icelandic shows. Hello? Mmm, hello? No signal? Oh, I feel rejected. Well then, on to the next thing. Ready or not, I'm taking you to the bathroom. Girls gotta wash your face. Be sure to take the pod key with you. Otherwise, you might lock yourself out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I wonder how many people wrote on the walls here. A warm welcome to the woman's bathroom. 
which I believe has three shower stalls and four toilets. To the right, we have four sinks and a collection of toiletry, including shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, sunscreen, shaving gel. All right, it's past 9:30 a.m. Checkout time is 11. Let's save some files. Gotta free up space on cameras to prep for more filming today. All right, just checked out. Rainy day and still rainy. We're gonna start driving the golden circle today. Typically, I'm a light sleeper, but because, you know, we haven't really slept in the past 31 hours, um, so I knocked out like a baby. Uh, within the minute, we turned the lights off. But if you're a really light sleeper, it might be hard for you to knock out here because uh, if the room is full, you have eight people. In, in that room, particularly, the doors are shutting and whatnot, then you might keep waking up. But uh, last night, we were the only ones in the room. And this morning, people arrived as well, but they were quiet. They just went into their own pod and started sleeping. It's a fun experience. And overall, the age-wise, the people are 25 and over, it seems like. The other people in the pod, they are mother and son. Um, and her son looked like, what, 15. Last night, I saw a lady in the bathroom. I was talking to her, and she's also from USA and she was like 40 years old and there was also another gentleman who looked like he was 40 and up so yeah you got all sorts of age range so whether you're young or older if you want to try it go for it remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for food and travel in korea check out my other channel sweet and tasty tv to relax at night listen to asmr bedtime with miss mina we read crunch crinkle and more Toodles, my noodles. Check out this elevator button. First time seeing one with a popped out edge like this. Look that one, someone slept in this morning. This one's fresh. Breakfast, extra cost, it comes with gear. And they have a bowl full of earplugs. And the dining table. And a bunch of post-it notes. This is just two pods that are full right now. Uh, we still have, you know, enough space her stuff but if four paws with like that's eight people it might get really crowded with luggage so if you have a lot of luggage um you might want to store it in their other room or just keep it in your car we're gonna be eating at old iceland so the wait time at old iceland is 35 minutes and right now it is 8 30. uh that means we're gonna get a table at 9 10 ish she was saying uh and then when you sit down you order finally food comes around like 20 to 30 minutes after that so by the time we get back to the hotel it'll be 10 or even later and you know what just want to get some good sleep tonight and not eat so late where you end up not sleeping and just waiting to digest so let's go somewhere else i heard that icelandic street food is good let's try that i don't see anyone here but there's free brownie <laughs> What happened? We entered here and all of a sudden the music started to play. What's this? This looks interesting. Art museum. What do we have here? A notice about experimental TVs in the pods. 